Taurus, welcome to your heart spread read for November 2021 using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here on the new Casa Patio. I know the light is kind of low and I'm on the edge of the jungle, so uh, hopefully um, you could see me okay and hear the wonderful sounds. It's absolutely beautiful here, I have to tell you. My energy is so amazing. And I really like the light, last uh, light of day and the early morning. Let's see if we can get something here that's helpful for you. This is for you and who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Whoever that is, you don't have to be with them. It's just who you're thinking of, who you're holding in your heart. Let's see who this will pick up on reliably. Big time frame, big months, a lot going on. Well, let's see what's going on with this person on, on your mind. Star card, look at you, Taurus. Coming in with the star card here. Manifestation, this would speak to a Taurus that's into manifestation. Speak to Aquarius, speak to Uranus, uh, my sixth house. Uh, Uranus is in Taurus now. Could be affecting you. T square. Uh, my Venus and uh, Saturn definitely affected me, Uranus. But, you know, your sun is there, we know. Could have Mercury there or other personal planets. But um, it's super positive. It's showing up in, in the energy of where you're at in terms of love and relationship here. This is a. Uh, if you're not manifesting, then well, you are, because <laughs> you you just have a really good attitude. That's what that is. Um, yeah, when you have that kind of attitude, overall energy, King of Swords, kind of figure that in. Um, there's mature people involved here, who by and large are being honest uh, in the situation here. Now, this is very odd. Your person comes in with the nine of uh, swords here. And you you know, this is the energy of where they're at. And with the star, I like to think of that as you, a little detached from the relationship. Kind of a baseline of where just you're at. And you're in this wonderful energy of manifestation, of wish fulfillment, of hope, dreams and wishes. Being very positive, probably doing affirmations. Now your person, where they're at, is there really caught up in their head in what feels like a bad dream to them and this is not about your relationship and they're literally being haunted by this you know in their thoughts it may not be just dreams um, this is the stuff of PTSD the stuff of emotional PTSD triggers 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 it's like the car they drove the cologne the perfume the phrase they use, the shows they like, the foods they like, the uh, triggers this person, Taurus. But let's see how you're feeling about each other. That's what this will tell us. Here's you. You don't know. This is how you're feeling towards your person here with the moon energy. There's something you're not seeing. You know, and I got the feeling this person's telling you they're all torn up. Maybe that's how you met. You know, they, they stopped by your desk at work, they uh, called you up, they're your friend, they're ex-lover, they're, yeah, I'm all torn up, can we talk? And, but you're just like, something's not right, something's not right. And your intuition is probably very high right now. Um, whatever it is you're not seeing it, it you're not seeing here, uh, Taurus, you're not seeing it because it's something and you, you don't want to say something about yourself here. Uh, like um, if you're in this energy it can be kind of hard to relate to somebody it's nine of swords you know um, I don't really see the star energy so much as savior energy either so um, let me see how they're feeling about you queen of cups yeah this is what you're not getting and the moon is cancer queen of cups is cancer but 
the energy of you know caretaking protection mother home and family cancer energy and um they're going from being the nine of swords and they kind of cry on your shoulder and boom now they're the queen of cups now i love the queen of cups but there's only one way they got to be the queen of cups they took it from you now is that a bad thing i don't know but i'm suspicious about it they, but I, don't, I don't like the energy exchange in a lot because you have the moon you know something's wrong you just can't put your finger on what's wrong just that you know what it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right you don't have the thoughts you don't have you can't articulate maybe what it what it is with language but you can damn well feel that something's not right about what's going on here yeah and they're like taking energy from you that's kind of basically you know um, now your advice is to lovers and this is your advice from spirit towards your person here Taurus that's a very interesting uh, card to get here um, let me look at their advice before I say anything about the lovers Gemini card the five of swords <laughs> wow this is advice of spirit for your person regarding the relationship with you I think that for them I'm gonna say the five of swords coming under this Queen of Cups is like get real with yourself and be honest you know that you're covering up like a lot of negative stuff from this uh, nine of swords energy and you know um, the vice of spirit it's not to be arguing with someone else it's about you know, dealing with this stuff in themselves, if you're cross-watching or if you share this, I think that's what this energy is about. You know, it's just sort of like you can't save them with their, with your good feelings you give them from this stuff. There's too much of it. They have to deal with it. It's not fun. They may have to go duke it out, you know, with an ex and actually talk, you know, they need to probably talk to you. Clarify the lover's spirit with the emperor, with Aries energy. You may have Aries in your chart. Think about that, particularly if it's Mars or Venus energy. Because I'm clarifying the lovers here. This is the advice from spirit towards your person, guys. I'm having a little trouble uh, getting that. Um, I kind of don't see this as you having a choice to make. Um, but what I do see when I clarify it is don't settle. This is, when this comes with the lovers and the emperor, like the emperor, this is the advice from spirit towards your person. Don't settle from them on anything, basically. Really strong energy, you know. Um, and, you know, you can consider that's your own guides telling you that, in my opinion, right? Now this is the advice for the relationship as a whole. Yeah, you you knew something was wrong. Your intuition was off the hook. The star and the moon, I told you, that's strong intuition. You're coming in with strong intuition. So you didn't need to know exactly the circumstances. Um, now I see this two of swords sitting here and there's no other way to see this, but y'all gotta have an honest talk. And I think this honest talk is on them. Because the Five of Swords, he's looking right at that Two of Swords with his hand on his head like that, on his chin like that. Like, I don't know if I want to do this or not. And he's going to have to make up his mind to do this. Because you, you, you ain't standing for no nonsense here, Taurus. That's how you're feeling. You ain't settling. You know, lovers in the Emperor. Outcome of this heart spread. Sagittarius card. Hello. Uh, temperance it's a beautiful card <sighs> I see something really good coming out of this tough conversation really good in them confronting themselves here about whatever it is their nine of swords is that they're not dealing with they're not like just putting it on you and hiding away from it in a new relationship here Taurus and you know I see them moving into with this conversation with you it should clear up what it is that you have this moon energy about that wasn't right. And um, it will definitely give you clarity. And you're the emperor, so you, 
I should say also, you have all the power in this relationship, okay? That's obvious. So you have all the power in the relationship. It's on you. You probably manifested it uh, quite literally. It's, it's your call. But what temperance applies to me is, is really being a fulfilling relationship here, you know? Um, remember, we had the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Very strong energy, a King of Queen energy there too in, in this eight card reading, along with the Emperor and the Lovers, you know? Um, so what I get with temperance, it, it's, it would take like a sword, temper sword, that word, you just look up the word, um, it's going to take this time and kind of work. And that's what this two of swords are. Imagine them rubbing together or something, just getting tempered and coming together. And you've got to do it in a very real and honest and direct way with your king of swords as the overall energy. And out of it, you get this temperance relationship, which is a wonderful relationship where there's nothing wrong uh, simply because there's nothing wrong. Everything's cold. And you're just living a good life, and you're happy and content, and and everything's good. And that's why you're patient. And they say, you know, you're not really patient. It's just there's nothing wrong, nothing to be impatient about, guys. So thank you. Give me a like, a thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend, and do subscribe. Thank you much, guys.